Hi, I'm Tom Doak. I'm the Executive Director of Maine Woodland Owners and a professional forester in Maine. And I'm here on one of the properties my organization owns talking about tree ID and how to identify trees. There are more than 60 trees that are native to the woods forests of Maine and it's pretty easy to identify most of the common trees in Maine. Well, there are only a couple trees that you'll see in the forest that have needles. And this white pine tree, the way to know it's a white pine tree is each of these clumps of needles it has five actual individual needles. White has five letters and white pine has five needles per clump. That's an easy way to remember. On a younger tree, it would be a smoother bark, but on an older tree like this, it's that very rough bark. It's often the tallest and biggest tree in the forest, and this is the iconic tree of the state of Maine. So this is a balsam fir. This is the Christmas tree. One of the identifying characteristics is you can run your hand along it, and it's very soft. Fir tree has grayish bark, relatively smooth, and may have pitch pockets. And uh, you put your finger into the pitch pocket and pitch will come out. This is a spruce tree. Unlike a fir tree, which has that kind of more grayish kind of mottled bark, this is more of a darker bark. And often this one, see, you can see a little bit of reddish tinge to it. One of the real easy ways to, to identify a spruce tree, spruce needles are very sharp and pointed on the end. So when you run your hand across it, you'll get like little needles so they call it spiky spruce and friendly fir as a way to remember it. So this is a hemlock right here. And you can see the difference between the spruce, the hemlock, and the balsam fir. The needles you can see on a hemlock are really, really much, much shorter than on a fir tree. Hemlock, the bark is much rougher, quite grooved when it's an older tree, and a dark color. As this tree ages, it'll get more of these kind of grooves in it. But the bark is also very flaky. You can just kind of pick off some of it, that's a good example of a way to identify a hemlock. So there are many different uh, species of oak in the state of Maine, but by far the most common one is this one, it's red oak. This one is just showing a little bit of tinge here. This is a reddish color and, and an older red oak, you'll see in between the grooves here, you'll see it'll be red. The ground is scattered with leaves here. This is a red oak leaf. Um, it may be familiar to folks. It's very typical of what a red oak leaf looks like. You see the kind of the deep lobes in it, very pointed ends to it. This is very, very typical of a red oak leaf. And in my hand here are a bunch of acorns that came from this tree. You see a big pile of acorns under the tree and it looks like this. It's an oak tree. So the trees that give most people fits in trying to figure out what they are, are the difference between a sugar maple and a red maple tree. And even experts and foresters sometimes argue about, is that a sugar maple or red maple? So this is a sugar maple leaf. It's, it has five main points. There are five main points to it and kind of deep lobes that are U-shaped. Now this is a red maple leaf. It's almost V-shaped in these lobes. And the other thing is along the margins of the leaf, there are a number of different points. You won't see that in the sugar maple leaf because the sugar maple leaf is much smoother along this edge. When you're identifying trees, you only need to identify two or three characteristics to tell one tree from another. Enjoy yourself walking in the woods, take a little time, check out the trees, and learn a little bit more about the individual trees that make Maine, the Maine Forest is such a special place.